A federal judge today blocked the $37 billion merger between Aetna and Humana. The court said the takeover would unlawfully threaten competition. That sent shares of Aetna lower and Humana higher. The ruling comes just days after President Trump's executive order that allows the federal government to start dismantling the Affordable Care Act. Bertha Coombs takes a look at the big changes and the growing uncertainty in the health care industry. The Justice Department hailed today's ruling blocking Aetna's acquisition of Humana as a victory for seniors. The federal judge rejected the deal, saying the proposed merger is likely to substantially lessen competition in Medicare Advantage, making it unlawful because it would all but kill competition in more than 350 counties nationwide, despite Aetna's bid to divest some of the plans. Aetna says it is seriously weighing an appeal, but Lyric analyst Anna Gupta thinks it will be tough to save the $37 billion deal. Aetna certainly has the option to appeal, but they have to have Humana on board, and if there are other bidders, it bids up the value of the company. Gupta believes Anthem and Cigna, who also went to court to fight antitrust charges, will likely see a judge block their merger as well, setting the stage for a whole new round of health insurance deal making. While 18 months ago, insurers were trying to get bigger to compete under the Affordable Care Act, now the prospect of less regulation under the Trump administration has them hoping for greater long-term stability in the insurance market. President Donald Trump signed an executive order giving government agencies authority to reduce regulatory burdens of the law, such as waiving penalties for individuals who are not insured. Analysts don't see an immediate big impact for individuals or insurers from the act, but say it's a first big step toward repeal. I don't think it changes what is likely to happen, where essentially I think the action will be in Congress, starting at the House, in collaboration with the Senate. For insurers and those covered under the ACA now, the big question remains just how the administration and the Republican Congress will go about with repeal plans to ensure a smooth transition. Bertha Coombs, Nightly Business Report, New York.